Where do kangaroos live? What does a zebra look like when it runs? What does a parrot sound like? Where can a child find this information without having to read or type keywords into a computer? Search Kids is one place. It is a zoomable digital library created for children ages 4 to 8, developed at the University of Maryland with support from the National Science Foundation, the Patuxent Wildlife Foundation, and the Discovery Channel. Surprisingly, there are few digital libraries designed for young children. And there are no other digital libraries that support two children collaborating and navigating the same information on the same computer. Search Kids enables children to access video, sound, text, and images, as well as other children's drawings of animals. After children find the multimedia information they want, it can be transferred to KidPad, where they can use it to tell zooming stories. We are a design team from the Human Computer Interaction Lab at the University of Maryland. Our team consists of eight children, ages 7 to 12, and adults with expertise in education, art, psychology, biology, and computer science. During the school year, we meet twice a week after school and reconvene in the summer for an intensive two-week session. For the past two years, we have been partnering with teachers and second and third grade students from Yorktown Elementary School in Bowie, Maryland to develop search kits. The team began designing search kits by discussing how to search for animals. Then we broke into smaller groups and sketched our ideas. This box here is, um, represents what you're searching for. We tested other digital libraries and recorded our likes and dislikes. Have animals that didn't talk have video. Too much sound, huh? The first prototype was created in KidPad as an interactive sketch. Next, we brought a paper prototype of Search Kids to Yorktown Elementary School, where the children tested it. Giraffe, you found it. Okay, good job. A working prototype of Search Kids was later brought into the school where we collected data and made improvements based upon student suggestions. This is our digital library today. Search Kids has three searchable areas. In the World section, children can browse for information by clicking on the area of the world where a particular animal lives. This is the zoo, where children can find animals by selecting a specific house. For example, a bald eagle could be found by looking in the birdhouse. The third area gives them the option of searching for animals by what they eat, where they live, how they move, or how they are taxonomically classified. After a selection is made, chips are given to Dana and Kyle, the search helpers, who return the results. These results can be narrowed by adding more chips or zooming in to see more detail. Children can then save information in the treasure chest, which transfers it to KidPad, a zoomable storytelling tool. To date, we've conducted two studies in order to understand the effectiveness of Search Kids as a digital library. One study looked at the efficiency of children searching with our digital library. The results showed that children were able to search efficiently using a fewest steps strategy and were able to construct search queries with a high degree of accuracy. The other study looked at how two children collaborate while navigating a digital library. Students at Yorktown used two different versions of search kits. In the first version, only one child's click was necessary to move into the desired area. In the second version, both children needed to click on the same object in order to navigate. 
Preliminary results have shown that children collaborate more when both children's clicks were needed. We look forward to the third year of our project, where we will focus on integrating Search Kids into the curriculum in schools, bringing younger children into our design partnership, and continuing to refine the interface. I think once the project's completed, it's going to be so easily accessible to children of all ages, because you have such a nice age span of kids that are helping develop it. And they even take into consideration um, for pre-readers and you know how yes. kids who can't read are going to access it. So I think it will be um, one of the most meaningful programs that school-age children can get their hands on.